Okay. Good afternoon once more. I will apologize for not being here during the morning session. Uh, my presentation today will be on biodiversity inventory, the case of plants. And um, <clears throat> during this presentation, I would I would like to I would like to base my presentation on biodiversity and inventory. And um, you agree with me that in 1992, many countries met in Rio de Janeiro to sign a convention on biodiversity of, of, of biodiversity and to put some policies in place how we can deal with biological diversity, diverse, diversity data. Um, if we look at it in a simple way, biodiversity can be defined as the diversity of living, um, um, living entities in the world. And what does that entail? It entails studying the genetic diversity species diversity and ecological diversity. But up to date, the, the term biodiversity is still controversial because new fields are coming up every day. For example, like um, um, biodiversity informatics. A few years ago, we didn't know, I mean, nobody knew what was biodiversity informatics. And I, I assure all of you that in the next decade, another term will come up. There's no doubt of it. So it is defining, putting a strict definition on biodiversity is really controversial to today. Um, literally, when we talk of inventory, it's just like you are gathering things. You want to know what is in a particular area. In term, yeah, you want to know what, what is in a particular area. But botanically, when we talk of inventory in a botanical sense, we mean we want to understand the diversity of plants, species in a particular area, or uh, to know the distribution of plant species in a particular habitat. When we talk of area, for example, we can say Mount Cameroon, we may, we may, we may decide to go out to do an inventory to understand what are the plant species that are found in Mount Cameroon. Or we may, we may, behind our mind, we, we may realize that, okay, we want to know species that are found at different elevations on the mountain, or some species that are found only on, on the 1968 lava, or on the 2010 lava. So with that, we, 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 we are trying to know the distribution of these species in a particular habitat and in a particular area. And, um, um, if you do an end there, it doesn't make sense. You also have to estimate the abundance of that species in that particular, in that, um, 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 particular area. And also bear in mind that an inventory, be it in plants, birds, amphibians, or reptiles, is the first step in any detailed biodiversity study. You must go in to do an inventory to know which species is found where and, um, 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 and which species present and species absent in a particular, in a particular area. <clears throat> and and um, 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 a better way, the most preferable way that you can understand biodiversity informatics is through um, 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 how you can um, manage how you can manage the data, how you can conserve, how you can use and share biodiversity data. Um, up till now, there are a lot of, before the coming of biodiversity informatics, there are a lot of information that, that is, is found in reports, some in inventory reports, some in floras that we cannot have access to. A good example is, I'm just from Rumpy Hills to do to do, um, um, I was doing an inventory there last week. I collected one species. I was doing an inventory last week. I collected one species, and Lover can testify. And I told him that from the flora and and the the the, 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 the um, from the flora of Cameroon and most of the books that I've read at the National Herbarium, this species is a new species of of um, 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 Sapindesi. But guess what? When I got here, 
I send this picture to, to Duncan. Duncan said, oh no, this is Dembolia angustifolia. I was shocked because I've looked, I've studied this particular genus in the National Herbarium, it is not there. But he collected it and all the data is in Missouri Botanic Garden. So with this type of, this type of, um, 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 of idea of biodiversity informatics is very important because you can pull data like that and make the, peop the, the, the country know that this is part of your biodiversity that you don't have access to. <clears throat> you don't just get up one day and jump into the forest. Even the best scientists sitting here, no scientist will just get up one day, jump into an airplane and come to, come to Mount Cameroon to do an inventory. So there are certain things that you have to put in mind. <clears throat> they are Oh, sorry. The, the slide I want to talk is, is down. Okay, why do we carry out biodiversity? Uh, how, why do we carry out an inventory? We carry out an inventory to understand the diversity and uniqueness of the species of that particular area. We also carry out mostly plan, plan inventory to to put a foundation on ecological or, or um, um, socioeconomic uh, studies. For example, even people that are studying mammals, they will rely on botanical inventory because that will lead them to know the type of plants that different species of animals they are feeding on. Without botanical inventory, there will be data gap, there will be like, one step of a data layer on that. Those that are interested in medicinal plants or medicinal plant, plant, plants, they will want your data on botanical inventory so that they can start screening that, okay, this plant is used for medicine, this plant is not used for medicine, this one is like this. So botanical inventory is, is a good base and it's very important for every um, biodiversity research. Important things to note before an inventory. As I earlier said, no scientist will just get up one day and jump into an airplane, jump into Mount Cameroon to do an inventory. A project or research idea have to first of all be conceived. You have to conceive a project idea. You have to write a defeating proposal, a proposal that can fetch funding and even after putting on a, a defeating proposal, you have to identify, you have to identify a particular, a particular funding agency because funds are given on different taxes based on your interests. So be careful, if you identify the wrong funder, you will not get the money. But if you identify, you may, you may spend three months, write a good proposal, but you identify a wrong funder, you will not get the money. If you write a good proposal, you send it to a good funder, you have higher chances of getting the money. And it does not end there. Even after you identify and send your proposal to, to a funder, they have to review this proposal. And your proposal can be accepted if well written or rejected if poorly written. And um, even when this proposal is accepted, there are a lot of administrative bottlenecks for people that are used to proposal writing, they will, they will testify this. You have to sign a lot of documents and give your bank account and tell them, okay, oh no, we can't send this money to you, to you as Mr. Sangi, we have to send it to an institution. If you are not in an institution, sorry, you lost the chance. So these are all administrative procedures that um, 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 we, have to, we have to bear in mind. And after these funds are transferred, now you have the money in your account. You are happy, you have the money. It does not end there. Because if you don't collect the right data, even that money will be useless. It is only at this point that you have the money that you can start putting on your research design. 
following the methodology, following the methodology that you send in your in your proposal. You put on a research design. You produce topographical map. You produce vegetation map, and um, you you print them. You buy equipments. You don't just go to the field empty-handed just with your camera. You have to put all these things in place, and um, you have to create contacts. As I said in the morning, for us being here today, it took us close to two years. And it's in that same light, you have to create contacts. If you are not a Cameroonian, you have to meet people, meet Dr. Fokan, OK, I need a research permit, I need this, I'm coming to do this. If you are a Cameroonian, you have to talk with the chiefs, you have to talk with the conservator, you have to talk with other institutions, how this work can move ahead. And um, if you are out of Cameroon, you have to come to Cameroon. It is only at this point that you can start a thorough inventory. Like now, we, 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 this team can, 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 um, conf, can confidently say we are like 75% into the field. Because next week, all of us will be into the field. All these things have been taken into, into account. And know that this can actually take you two years. It can take you two years. So I, I know of, I know of some students that they will, they will <clears throat> Dr. Fokan may have a, a, a grant and, a and you tell the student, do this, 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 and he start hailing at you, but this student will never feel that he took two, three years for this grant to come on the table. So it's, it's not an easy task. It's very difficult to, to get to this point. I might add that that's not unique to you. It's also, we have the same problem, right? It's a universal It's problem. universal, it's, yes, it, yes. It takes two or three years to get grant funding yes. to do the project. Yes, it's a universal yes, problem. yes. Mm -hmm. So even after you have this money, you, you have all the equipment, you have to start getting the right documents. If you have to work, in the case of Cameroon, if you have to work in a national park, you have to get research permit from Minister of Scientific Research. You have to get a permit from um, um, a Minister of Forestry and Wildlife. You have to discuss with the conservator and pay a fee and pay a fee before you go to the forest. You don't just jump to the forest. And you also have to get the right equipment. If you are measuring trees, you know that you have a good diameter tape and you have to have good calipers. You have to have good field guides. You don't just jump to the forest. And even when you collect this data, what do you do? You have to enter the data in a good computer that you can analyze the data. And um, <clears throat> after that, you do a field design. For example, this, this is the map of Rumpi Hills. This, this map took me, it took me about three months after I got the grant to get to this, to this level. Town will actually testify. It was a lot of um, 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 pool with, 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 with some other people because <clears throat> I had my own design but some people they had their own design so at one point you have to decide are you are, uh, uh, will your survey be like on elevational gradient will it be random will it be like stratified into vegetation types like this, this map of Rumpy Hills has been stratified into vegetation type this is low land and this low land, this is sub mountain, and the red is uh, disturbed low land. This other area is um, uh, disturbed sub mountain. So you have to decide what you want to do. Is it random sampling or is it based on vegetation type? All those things, you don't decide them in the field, you decide them while in town, while in your office. And, um, oh, sorry. You map, you map the area, you give proposed points, and another very important point is designing your field forms. You don't just get an exercise book and you start taking your data, no. You have to design your field form in a way that it will make sense. In a way that when you collect the data, so many other information will come on it. We will, we will um, give details on that on the tomorrow lecture. Proud to field work too. If you see here, you see here, these are our equipment for a field trip in Bembe, food, equipment, everything. 
Here is one of the trips in Rumpy Hills. You see, these are bags with food, paint, equipment, uh, me, 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 calipers, uh, me, 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 and other, other equipment. So, <clears throat> on this map, on this map, as I, I said of proposed points, when you take a proposed point in town, it gives you an idea where you are going to. For example, if you walk in, if you are going to, to, to a place you don't know, for example, I mean, going to Rumpy Hills last week was my first time. So I didn't know anything about the southern part of Rumpy Hills. I took my GPS, put my proposed point, and said, okay, I'm going to Munyangi. So, until I got here, I realized that, okay, um, plot one is about, about three kilometers. So, I started downtrodding. It got to a point, I realized that, hey, um, it won't be possible for us to get here. So, we took a, an actual point now. It's, 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 not like, it's not like a rule that a proposed point must be the actual point, but it gives you a guide. It actually gives you a guide that, okay, okay, um, this is my proposed point. So if I take this point and if I do any plot, one kilometer uh, me, 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 me. on either way, I'm sure that I'm in Rumpy Hills. If I come here, like this particular plot, we're supposed to put this plot here, but we trek for about six hours and realize that, and realize that, that, that there, was no, there was no water. At one point, Lovett and others, they said, oh, no, 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 we can't continue. Everybody is finished. We are dead beat. This is water, we have to produce, we have to establish a plot here. And that is what we did, because the, the proposed point, this proposed point was like 1.6 kilometer, and it was 4 p.m. And with water, we just decided to put the, the plot there. So these are decisions that you take when you are in the field. You, you have to take them, you have to take them. <clears throat> In the community, 